What is going on you guys make it Wayne back and today I finally have some head-to-head -head seasons gameplay for you guys It's been a while and this is something I really want to start doing a lot of but before we do jump into this game I just want to show you a couple of things I'm working on so let's head over to my inventory before we do jump into the game Like I did say I am working on a couple of sets and I'm about to finish the Rangers one because I really want to get myself that Ian Kinsler plus when you do collect all the rangers you get yourself a 93 overall buddy bell which isn't too bad of a card i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a need for him but definitely a good set to go ahead and finish because i really want to get a diamond second baseman and that's one of the only positions that i am missing a diamond so i think that is all of them let's head over to the set and get that collect and go on ahead and see our rewards there you guys have it we can collect this mission right here 93 overall buddy bell he is a third baseman so i think i am gonna try him out in this game let's take a look at the stats looking at this card is an absolute freaking beast as you guys can see he has 97 contact versus right 91 versus left 97 vision and some really good fielding stats so he is going to be at shortstop in this gameplay giving you guys an update on all the other sets i'm working on my team is coming together really nice as you can see i did collect all the indians players so i have andrew miller in the bullpen you'll probably see him at some point in this gameplay but i need one more win against the indians on veteran then i have to get those hits with the michael brantley i'm only 12 hits away from getting myself 95 overall max scherzer and now i'm gonna start working on the collection for ian kensler so i really like how it's coming along the last set i'm working on and why ken griffey jr is leading it off is i'm so close to finishing 99 overall ken griffey jr's mission i only need 12 more wins in battle royale i'll get the gear once i am able to get to 95 percent i'm almost to the stats and i need to get these four hits with the home run so that is why he is going to be lead off i'm trying to get him as much ABs as possible and these two missions right here won't be that hard I'm excited to get this card now I'll give you guys a look at my starting rotation for collecting all the Indians I got this 96 overall Corey Kluber we're using Doug Drabeck still CC Sabathia and I'm gonna give this Jordan Zimmerman a chance I got him from doing those missions so I thought he would be a pretty cool card to try out and then we also do have Jacob DeGrom but in my bullpen we have Andrew Miller I'm excited to use him. He was super expensive. I think I got him for 145k. Then we also do have Sean Doolittle and Joaquin Soria. I really, really like how this team's looking. But you can take a look around the infield. The only gold we have now is Francisco Lindor because you guys know he did get downgraded. But other than that, the lineup is absolutely stacked. This is a no money spent team. I haven't spent at all on this game. And I'm pretty proud of that and how it is coming along. But if you guys want more head-to-head -head gameplay, make sure to smash that like button let's get into it the last reason why i am going to start posting a ton of head-to-head -head content is because the rewards for this season are absolutely insane if you're able to get to world series you get a ralph kiner if you're able to get to championship eric gagne division rod crew and then a sean green if you do get to wild card so i'm going to be absolutely grinding i hope you guys are ready looking at my opponent's lineup he is the ottawa slimers hopefully i said that right but he has jose ramirez ender inciarte dj lemayhu jd martinez matt carpenter lorenzo kane mike mustakas Gary Sanchez, he has Tim Lincecum come on the mound. We're getting Corey Kluber. Let's go get this dub. Getting our first look at Corey Kluber. I have not used him yet in the game this year, so hopefully he's an absolute beast. But guys, the other thing I'm excited about with getting all these new cards is we're gonna have so many new people you guys will be able to see in the Spin the Wheel series which a new episode is coming on Monday, so I hope you guys are excited for that. But we have an 0-2 count to start it off. Let's try and put him away with the changeup. He wanted to go around, but the game did not allow him to. Is this Corey Kluber does not have a slider? I'm pretty sure his best pitch is a slider, so that definitely does stink. But the curveball, pretty filthy too. One down in the inning. I finally feel like I have a team that I can take all the way to the World Series. I have not been able to make it there yet, but I'm confident that I am going going to be able to do it this time so we will have to see Kluber trying to get in on the hands and that is an easy play for Buddy Bell 
two down. The next set that I was looking to go after was the Orioles because it's really not that expensive right now. The only two expensive cards to get are Machado and Britain, and they're only like 60k combined. This is my first game back with Freddie Freeman. We've been using Jason Giambi forever, so I'm excited to see the power from Freddie Freeman back. He has hit so many big home runs for me over the time that I had do have him as that could not have been hit any harder. Looking to get a strikeout here. We have an 0-2 count to JD Martinez, so I'm not going to give him anything too good to hit as that is right to the shortstop. Another easy one. 2-2 two and two count on Matt Carpenter looking for the strikeout down in the zone, and that is the second swing and miss on a curveball. Buddy Bell's first at bat on the team. Let's see what he can do. That one is going to be down in the zone. We need to wait for something elevated. We have a 2-2 two and two count still being held hitless so far in this one as that's a fastball. I'm on it, and there's the first hit. I've really liked this blue Brock since I've started using him. I mean, 99 speed. You cannot deal with that as this one is hit really well and he's gonna make the grab runner on second base two outs in the inning looking to work out of this with Corey Kluber that one is down in the zone he's looked pretty good so far we just need to try and work our way out of this jam and he's gonna do exactly like that with the pop-up and no he's not we're gonna miss it what seriously like honestly what are those animations why you know I'm a pretty understanding guy I get it if once in a while we're gonna miss it because it was hit really hard that was a routine pop-up in something that should not have been missed. I do not understand it. It ends up costing me a run, so hopefully it does not cost us a game. But we have to get out of this inning. Runner on first base. Fastball inside. Is Lindor going to catch this one? Three down. Okay, Lorenzo, be that spark that we need. Somebody needs to drive something in a gap and get a rally started. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Being held to one hit so far in this one. Is That one is laced. Please don't be one of those games. 1-1 one, one count. Freddie Freeman looking to be the spark that we need. And I am all over that one. It's going to get into the gap for a double. That's the Freddie I remember. Lindor needs to be the guy here. He needs to try and find a way to drive in this run. And that's just going to be a ground out. 0-2 oh count on Mustakas. Not trying to give him anything too good to hit. A change up down. And he is fouling it off. So we need to stay out of the strike zone. He's looking to swing at pretty much everything. We're going back to the curveball, and he leaves it up in the zone. Buddy Bell making a nice play. One and two count on Gary Sanchez. Let's see if we can put him away. That is not where I wanted it, but it does work. Buddy Bell up. He has one of our only hits in this one, so hopefully he can find a way on base once again, and he's doing exactly that. Pretty good debut game for him. Lou Brock up has terrific contact versus right-handers. He gives me a hanger. That one is going to find its way into the gap. We're going to be running for a while with Lou Brock. I'm going to try and score the run. Let's see if he can make it, Buddy Bell. He's chooched. Michael Brantley pinch hitting for Corey Kluber because we really need this run. And we have an 0-2 count. We're bringing the bullpen in in the sixth inning. Not what I wanted to do, but we really need him to come through. But just another P-Rod to the center fielder. 1-2 count on Jose Ramirez. And he's not even giving that pitch a chance. So it's now 2-2. Two and two. Come on, Miller. Put him away with the slider. There we go. Come on, Miller. Get this slider in there. He's hitting it. But that's Lindor at second. Good timing. But I guess my PCI was a little bit above it. So that's one quick out right now. As that is going to find its way down the line. This is going to be a double for Lorenzo Kane. We've got to drive him in. All right, Freddie Freeman. You're the guy. We need need you to come through for the team and he is doing exactly that i love having freddie freeman back in the lineup come on miguel you are definitely being moved down in the lineup if you cannot find a way on base i have been absolutely brutal with him i loved using him last year but this year just absolutely brutal so far this might find its way in. okay that's a good start buddy bell finds himself two for two in this one another hit would probably drive in a run that is going to make its way through i'm going to try and make it to the plate freddie freeman and he's safe not a bad debut game so far for buddy bell three for three with an rbi lou brock trying to get in on the action he usually likes to go with the high fastball after going low in the zone but he goes low once again he is not throwing out lou brock hopefully he tries to go to first he does we're going to the plate 
another bad decision two and one count on jd martinez looking to get him out ground ball to third and miguel is actually making a pretty nice play three and two count on yonder alonzo trying to gas him up sit down andrew miller looking to finish his day off strong here going with another slider this one to the shortstop bell good speed but we got him three and oh count on curtis granderson come on groove me a fastball i'm gonna be ready for it okay walks are okay lorenzo kane doubling in his last at bat could use another one of those here because that probably would be a run considering the speed that we do have on first base as i am stealing on this pitch this one is hit down it's going to be a single i will take it and i'll move him over to second all right freddy you're the run driving in machine we could use these insurance runs as that one is not a good pitch to swing at all right do little i would like to keep you in for the rest of the game and one pitch are gonna help out those costs that cause one pitch outs are gonna help that cause that's what i wanted to say all right one pitch out to start it off not too bad gary sanchez now up i have held this guy to two hits so far in this game so hopefully we can keep that going i have a really really good bullpen in sean doolittle andrew miller and rozel iglesias and soon i'm gonna be adding zach Britton. so my bullpen not too bad with the left-handers okay nobody harmed there just need to keep the ball on the ground and get another ground ball as he is missing that one so we'll have to see come on jose ramirez a terrific hitter in this game and i'm not sure why that was called the ball that wasn't even close okay so please umpire wake back up because we're gonna need some calls and i love lindor on defense part of our lineup up miguel cabrera looking for another hit i was finally able to do something with him but hopefully i can find a way to keep him in the lineup because i feel like this card absolutely rakes i just need to get better with him as he's getting back-to-back -back hits one two count on buddy bell currently has three hits in this one looking to make it four as that was a close pitch but we are able to lay off come on give me something that i can hit that is a hanger and it's going to be down that's what i'm talking about four singles not too shabby gary sanchez has been awful in this one so far but we do need him to do something something here and i got him i definitely got him there my plan worked we were able to steal home plate with miguel cabrera and he's throwing pitches at me somebody's a little salty bringing in reggie jackson to pinch hit trying to get as many insurance runs as possible as that one gets away from the catcher 99 speed and this card is just absolutely ridiculous i have to keep him in the lineup just because of his speed he is freaking insane as he's throwing at my head once again and we're trying to come home and i guess he's just giving up now and hopefully i don't get the loss for this if i get the loss this game is so broken there you guys have it i am able to get the victory with this team moving up to pennant race my rating currently is 515 so we definitely have some work to do but with this team i can see us getting a ton of wins but if you want to see some more main squad make sure to smash that like button a bunch of new cards are going to be in the next episode but guys a new spin the wheel tomorrow i hope you're looking forward to that i appreciate all the support you guys do show and until the next video have a good one